Diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, were originally developed by the Society of Automotive Engineers, or SAE, to help fleet vehicles comply with emission regulations under the Clean Air Act. Each DTC is standardized and relates to a particular vehicle component or area of the vehicle. Reading and interpreting DTCs can be a daunting task, but with the right approach, it becomes a valuable skill. The first step is to obtain a Diagnostic Trouble Code Reader or Scanner, which you can retrieve the codes from your OBD2 port located somewhere under the lower dash panel. DTC codes are typically one letter followed by four numbers. Once you have the codes, you can refer to manufacturer-provided code definitions to decipher their meaning and identify the underlying issues. When a DTC is triggered, it often manifests through various symptoms and warning lights on the vehicle's dashboard. These can include check engine light, transmission malfunction indicator light, brake system or ABS warning light, airbag warning light, and reduced engine power or limp mode. Recognizing these warning signs can help you quickly identify the presence of a DTC and take the necessary steps to address the problem. When it comes to DTCs, the most encountered codes are the P codes, U codes, C codes, and B codes. Now, each of these code types holds specific significance. P codes are the most prevalent DTCs and are related to the vehicle's powertrain, including the engine, transmission, and emission systems. U codes are associated with the vehicle's communication network and indicate issues with the data exchange between the various electronic control units. C codes are specific to the vehicle's chassis and body systems, such as the brakes, suspension, and airbag systems. And B codes, vehicle body codes refer to safety and comfort features inside the driver's cabin. In addition to the standardized DTCs, many vehicle manufacturers also have their own unique manufacturer-specific codes, which start with a 1. These codes provide additional information about issues specific to a particular make and model of vehicle. Understanding these manufacturer-specific codes can be crucial in diagnosing and resolving complex problems, as they often offer more detailed insights into the vehicle's systems. Recognizing the differences between these code types can help you better understand the nature of the problem and guide you towards the appropriate troubleshooting steps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.